Welcome back. We're learning more about the bus theft we reported last week. You might remember this bizarre story. On the evening of July 4th, RTC dispatchers noticed one of their buses was on the move, but without the right driver. Brandon Booth joins us live in the studio with more on this. Brandon, really a strange situation here. You can say that again, Ari. This bus driver actually used to drive RTC buses, which makes it a little less weird. He did it up until the end of June, and on July 1st, Keolis took over operations of RTC from MV Transportation, and that's when the driver stopped working as a driver. The weirdest part might be that he drove his old route and got passengers to their destination on time before he was arrested. It's not too often your bus driver gets arrested in the middle of the route. That happened on July 4th because 55-year-old Deverne Emerson was not supposed to be driving the bus. He no longer worked as an RTC bus driver as of July 1st, three days before the incident. The general manager of Keolis, RTC's contractor, says that's probably why the mistake happened. They did transition with a Keolis employee, and if I had to guess right now, we're still investigating the situation, I would say it's a misunderstanding on part of our employee because, frankly, the person who was operating the bus was an employee as of last week. Liz has a driver. RTC dispatch recognized a problem within a few minutes. Once they saw the bus did not have a registered driver, they contacted the bus, and no response from Emerson meant teams went out to find the bus while dispatch called Reno police. Who knows what could be happening on the bus? The driver could be injured. There could be something else happening. You can see from the security footage on the bus, an RTC employee is the first to track down the bus, and Emerson cooperates. He continues to cooperate once Reno police arrive, and they even allow him to gather his things before arresting him. And considering he drove his old route and dropped people off normally, Hassan doesn't know why it happened. The motives, I don't know, but I can confidently tell the public that scenarios like these are one-off oddities. No passengers were harmed while some were delayed. Hassan argues this incident is so rare because only a trained bus driver could actually take an RTC bus. It's sort of like walking into an airplane. Would you really know which buttons to turn to be able to turn the airplane on? Now, RPD tells me Emerson is charged with unlawfully taking a vehicle, and that's a less serious charge than stealing a vehicle. He has to appear in court still, but Reno police told us initially Emerson may have some mental health issues. Covering the story in the studio, Brandon Foose, 2 News. Man, so odd. Glad everything turned out okay. Brandon, thank you.